So yesterday, uh, we covered Alex Jones when he put on a lizard mask and explained Obamacare in a British accent. Nobody knows why. Also, nobody knows why he had a lizard face on or the top hat. He also had a top hat. Uh, well, today, or actually it was yesterday, uh, Bill O'Reilly decided to do his own genius segment uh, about the health care law also. Listen to the comparison he makes. The right Not an easy thing for GOP politicians to deal with. To be fair, Republicans have little choice but to hammer Obamacare because it's shaping up to be a disaster. It's like this. Your teenager comes to you saying she wants to attend a dance. You have some misgivings, but you say okay because she's so passionate about the issue. Then you learn that a vicious motorcycle gang may well show up at the dance. So you change your mind based upon best available evidence and you protect your daughter from possible danger. Obamacare is like that. When in the past, few knew what the unintended consequences would be. Now, we're seeing a loss of full-time jobs, higher health insurance premiums for many working Americans, and a total lack of control by the feds in the implementation. Uh, where do they come up with this stuff, man? Like, I think this is what right-wingers do. Like, they sit around and try to come up with weird analogies to describe things that they hate. And it usually ends up invoking Hitler <laughs> or Stalin. So uh, O'Reilly's a step better than the rest of them. At least he didn't jump right to Godwin's law and he's like, it's Hitler, if I don't like something, it's automatically Hitler. Uh, no, he instead said, a vicious motorcycle gang. Say, am I not being fair? It's a vicious motorcycle gang. By what logic? And look at it, like that, not even close to making sense. So if your daughter goes to a dance and there's a vicious motorcycle gang there, then you're not gonna let the daughter go to the dance. But wait a second, Bill, what is it, a guarantee that she's gonna talk to the vicious motorcycle gang? Like you don't trust her to avoid the vicious motorcycle gang? And why a vicious motorcycle gang? And why did you, uh, how did your mind even start going down that path? Now, ironically, like always happens with these goofy conservative analogies, the exact opposite is true. So in reality, if you had to go with the analogy with the dance and your daughter and the gang, uh, sending your daughter to the dance would be like keeping the healthcare system as it is, right? Or actually, no, here's a better way of putting it. Not letting your daughter go to the dance to keep her away from, of course, the implication is the harm that the motorcycle gang will do, like they might hurt your daughter or something, right? Well, in this uh, analogy, the parent keeping the daughter home, that's like Obamacare, because it's the parent protecting the daughter, right? Well, what do you think Obamacare does for people without health care? It protects them. It gives them fucking health care. <laughs> Again, exactly backwards.